Today we're going to be listening to a story of a woman who had her ex take everything from her. I think this is a good lesson of who you date really does matter and you got to be careful. Never say never. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? I hope you enjoy. Start the video over for you guys. Tells you that he would never leave you high and dry with your two kids after moving in together if you were to ever break up and then you guys break up and he moves when you're out of town took all the cleaning supplies that i had <laughs> took a lot of dishes that weren't his stole my cameras from my house my alexa No furniture left. Absolutely none. And no bed. So this is a lesson that we can learn. You know, this individual said in the beginning when you're with the person who said they're never going to leave you with two kids and everything will be fine. And then you guys break up and then he takes everything. First of all, guys, we can never say never. Okay, no matter what, if you're in a marriage, if you're not in a marriage, if you're in a relationship, anybody at any moment can always leave. People do change over time, and that's unfortunate. And I want to say this, too, because I don't want to seem like we're always the best person. Sometimes you are the person that changes. Um, Sometimes people, sometimes you can do the evil deeds. So don't think that you are infallible. It's a constant concept of always checking in on yourself, always constantly talking, always communicating. So they break up and this individual takes everything from them. So I just want you guys to know that this concept that we always see about love, this concept we always see about, oh, it's just going to last forever. It's going to be amazing. No, there is a good chance that it may not work out. Okay. Especially when you get in a relationship with kids. Not everybody loves that. Not everybody can deal with that. Not everybody can handle that. And there are some people in this world. When you get with them, if you don't look at the red flags, and I know that word gets overused, I understand that. But if you want to say signs, look at this, look at that, I'm just saying, you really need to look into a person before you get with them. But unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't matter. Sometimes they will still do you dirty. Got that, took care of that, but it's kind of what we have so far. We're just kind of founding things as we go. So I have a tentative list of stuff that's missing that's definitely mine um keys to my shed swiffer jet pads you know a lot of little things that kind of compound to be a lot um taking the batteries out of the remote and then taking all the batteries taking the remote to the tv uh, garbage cans the next day caitlin posted an update on the situation it's been an exhausting couple days but we've done a lot in the last few days uh we got cameras up so it's near fortress which is easy on the mind and she gives us a look at where the house is up to now house has been completely rekeyed which is great we we busted through it we got a table we got a couch um we got a lot done which is awesome i have a great family i've got great friends a great tribe so they all you know kicked in and helped and um at the end of the day it is just stuff um, it's a bummer and it sucks, but, you know, ultimately nothing was damaged and that's really all I cared about. Um, the boys get back from their dads tonight. And I want to say something. One, she's, you can see she was in a relationship with a man and they also ended up leaving each other. So she has kids and they obviously share custody. I want to say this because I, it always gets brought up and I always see it and it does bother me in some videos. Okay. Yes, this is a conventionally attractive woman okay y'all saw that oh forget it. i can't find it but nonetheless y'all can see that that woman was very attractive and i see when a lot of men <laughs> i see a lot of men now listen we don't know his side of the story i don't know why he took everything so let me say that i'm not just gonna be like oh he's a terrible person he's this is that i don't know this is only her side of the story but i want to say this as well when men see women who like this, who are really attractive and they get cheated on, look, you already see she has kids with the man, not work out. She got a boyfriend, didn't work out. And she may have had other relationships, didn't work out. People see like this and I see men in the comments always constantly, man, she's so hot. She's so this. I would have never did that to you. I would have never this. Men, 
I will tell you something right now. Even if you're married, you understand I'm married. Or if you've been in a relationship for a while, I'm sure you can understand as well. It does not matter how attractive the person you are is you are is you are with is because just like everything, if you bought a brand new Lamborghini right now, 2024 Lambo, Ferrari, pick your pick whatever you want. OK, Hellcat. After a few years, it's going to become just a car to you. For, for, at first, you won't even eat in the car, right? First, you won't eat in the car. First, you won't even if people who smoke, you won't smoke in the car. People, you'll never have any trash in the car. It looks nice every day. You got it. You wipe it down constantly. But eventually it becomes just a car. Eventually it breaks down every now and then. Eventually you got to replace the battery. You got to get the oil changes. Something may happen. Your radiator goes out. Something happens in the engine block. A piston starts misfiring. There's a lot of stuff that happens. And once that happens, once you have to replace anything on that vehicle or it just gives you a simple sign that it's starting to break down, even if that's years later, it eventually becomes a car to you. Now you know you have to maintain it. It's not as beautiful as it once was. I'm not trying to say women are like cars, but I, what I am trying to say is that if you're a person who doesn't take care of the things you have, if you're a person who simply got the car because it was good looking and you weren't trying to, wanna, you didn't want to have to maintain it. You just wanted to show it off to your friends. You just wanted to have this car to be like, oh, right, look, everybody, look what I got. I got a Hellcat. That kind of stuff will wear off. And eventually, when you get bored of it, you want something. You you'll get a better car. You'll get the you'll get a Lambo, or you'll get whatever car you see fancy on TikTok or YouTube. Whatever car you're like, oh yeah, that will get my people to go. Oh damn, right? It, it doesn't matter what the car looks like after a while. So even though yeah, she's a conventionally attractive woman, yeah, you would never leave her. You you, you could. One, you don't know how she is, so she might be hard to get along with. But another thing is, even if she's the best wife on the planet. If you're the kind of person who doesn't care about relationships like that, or you're only with her because she's good looking, you will cheat. You will leave. You will do this stuff, especially if you're not morally uh, living your life in that direction. So, yeah, this can happen to anybody. I don't care how attractive a woman is. We've seen countless marriages of very beautiful women who've gotten cheated on. But we've also seen countless marriage, marriages of beautiful, beautiful women who turned out to be evil we already seen that now circulating. We know who we're talking about. But we have women who are out there ruining men's lives. And they're so hot, but they're so beautiful. But they're still evil. They're still corrupt. And then you'll have these beautiful women. Uh, but he still cheated. He still left her. He doesn't care. I saw a picture not too long ago. Uh, and I don't know J-Lo's life. I'm not into it like that. I don't be reading the tabloids and blah, blah, blah. But nonetheless, Jennifer... Uh, Lopez, there was a picture that showed her kissing whoever she used to date. I don't know his name, but she was dating some guy or she was married to some guy and she was kissing him and he was on his phone. And now she's married to a new guy and he was kissing her in a picture. And they were like, yeah, you got to know what your worth is. It's like, see, you people see these beautiful, attractive women and just think that they're like their life is different from yours because you don't look like them. Yeah, they get more attention. But once you get married and you're just with one person. Their life is probably just like yours. You know, your, their life, they probably have arguments and they probably might get cheated on or they might get ignored because that's just how it goes. People don't care about stuff they don't want to maintain. I don't care how nice the car is. You see people with really nice cars and they get just trashed out. You see people with really nice houses. You've been to somebody with a really nice house, a really nice apartment, and you go in their bedroom or you go in their uh, kitchen and it's just disgusting. People don't care. People do not care. OK, if they don't want to maintain it, they won't. And then you got people and I'm not trying to compare um, women to houses and stuff like that again. But let's say this. You meet the same person with the older vehicle, a 2006 Honda Honda Accord. Right. And it's beautiful. It's immaculate. It's well taken care of. Right. You can tell that they clean it. They fix it. The engine looks good. Everything. They try to do their best to maintain it as long as they can. Same thing with somebody who just has a studio apartment. You can tell they keep it clean. They keep it nice. It's beautiful all the time. That's my point. It, is, it doesn't matter what you have. At any point, somebody can do this to you. So, I know I kind of went off of the little thing because, you know, we saw her face and everything. But I just know how the comments get. So, I want to address them. And the last thing I want to address is people can steal from you, man. People cannot care about you. If somebody says they're never going to leave you, they're never going to cheat on you, you can trust them. You can do the best you can. 
And I'm not saying keep your head on such a swivel that you're like constantly seeing, looking in their phones, trying to see who they're talking to. I'm not saying do all that. But I just want you to always think to yourself, I'm going to give my all. I'm going to give my best in this relationship. I'm going to do everything I can to maintain it. But at the same time, don't ever think somebody's infallible, including your fucking self. I have to make that so important because I've been a man who thought, oh, I'll never do that to somebody. I can never do these things. And I find myself doing this thing. I'll give a quick story. When I was a young man, probably 21, I was living with somebody. And I remember their lights getting cut off while I was living with them. I was paying rent and their lights got cut off because they didn't pay their electricity bill for three months. I remember telling myself, oh, I can never do that shit. This person's a lazy they're, they're scum. I was, I was mean. I was a mean guy. I was like, they're scum. They're bums. They're, they're ghetto. They're trash. And I'm sitting here thinking, man, they got their lights cut off. Who the fuck could ever have that happen? Happened to me two years later. I got my lights cut off because I didn't pay my bill for three months. Because I wanted to. I was The, the story behind it, I was just trying to impress some girl, so I was spending all my money on her. It was stupid. But nonetheless, I got my lights cut off. The same thing I said would never happen to me happened to them. And one more time, I remember somebody asking me for gas money and they ran out of gas. Right. And I was thinking to myself, like, how can you run out of gas? Huh? How could you run out of gas? You broke bum. Not even a week later, I ran out of gas. Not once, but three times I ran out of gas. And so. It just goes to show you, man, you can never judge somebody. Always try to keep yourself in, keep your own integrity. Don't let yourself fall into these dark paths. Don't let yourself fall into the mindset that you're better than somebody because it could be you too. So even though she got all her stuff stolen and you say, I can never do that to somebody, watch your mouth. What you need to say to yourself is, I pray to God I never do that to somebody. Let me keep doing the things that would never lead me to that because anybody at any moment can fall. We see it every day. Let me know what you think. I'm out. Goodbye.